guys welcome back to my channel today I am going to be testing out the P Louise eyeshadow base yes this has been out for quite some time now but I finally got my hands on it it took a while to ship it's from the UK but I finally have it and I'm super excited to try it I have heard amazing things about this and I've also heard that it just changes your eyeshadow game when you use it so I am extremely excited to try it. I do remember when Nikki Tutorials first tried this out she patted it with a flat shader brush like using patting motions onto her eyelids so that's just what I'm going to do and for the look I'm going to do today I actually okay so I tried to pick a look that I have more trouble with that I struggle with and just to see if this eyeshadow base could help with that so what I struggle with the most is a very dark smoky eye so that's what I'm going to try to do today and I was trying to find some inspiration so I found this it's from Regina ZLR on Instagram. I will link her down below. And I will also tag her whenever I post this to Instagram. This is the look I am going for. Super pretty. And it's um, the Jaclyn Hill palette is tagged in it. So that is what I will be using today. I normally have a hard time with this type of look. I don't, I'm not sure why. I just do. And also... The biggest thing that I'm going to be testing out is the lasting power. Well, the pigmentation, obviously, how pigmented the uh, shadows go on to this, but the lasting power. Because the best primers I've used, I really like the Tarte Shape Tape for a primer. That one is one of the best that I've ever used for eyeshadow, but still, after a long day, my eyeshadow tends to just kind of get a little greasy and it just slides a little bit it's still on there and it still looks decent but it doesn't look fresh and you can just tell that I've been wearing it all day so I'm hoping that this will solve that problem so what I'm going to do is do this look while using the primer or the eyeshadow primer and then I will also do a wear test and show you what the eyeshadow looks like at the end of the day it's about 11 am right now so I still have a good portion of the day to wear this so yeah let's get right into it by the way this is in the color rumor 02 I believe this is the first one that came out so let's try this out I think it's pretty obvious but I forgot to mention that I will not be adding the little 10k that she has on there because Obviously, I'm nowhere near 10K, so we're just going to do the look without the little extra stuff. I'm just going to do one eye on camera and then the other off just so it doesn't take forever, but I'll also go through the steps just in case you want to recreate this look. So, I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand. It's pretty thick. I'm just going to pat it in Okay, so it definitely covers everything. This looks really nice. It's definitely giving me a flawless base to work with. I'm liking this so far. I'm super excited now. Oh, so it does dry pretty quickly. In the picture she goes up pretty high with the shadow so that's why I'm going so high just to let you know but so far I am loving this like it's just looking flawless I'm not used to this <laughs> somebody did tell me that this was going to change my eyeshadow game and I feel like they were right 
it's just blending so easily and so beautifully on top of this. So it's still going great. The shadow is looking awesome. I'm just blending this out a little more. I think what I'll do is add more of the primer onto where I'm putting the dark brown just to make it even more pigmented and maybe make it stay longer. She goes like all the way in with it and very high up, so that's what I'm gonna do. I still have some on the back of my hand, so I'm just going to take that and go in with the same brush. It's kind of making me nervous. I've never done a smoky eye like this, but it looks amazing on her, so hopefully, hopefully this will work out for me. I'm not going to cover all of the primer. I'm going to leave that edge so I can add some more of that burnt orange color to add more of a gradient effect. Okay, so I have a lot of blending to do because this is a very smoked out look. Please excuse my dirty palette. I'm going to use this color again and just blend until my arms fall off. So I'm going to speed this up and wish me luck. Okay, so it's definitely not exactly like hers, but it was still my inspiration, so I'm still gonna, you know, tag her and stuff. But it's better than what I normally do, and I have to say, that the primer helped a lot because most of the time whenever I'm doing a look like this and like, okay, so the dark brown that I was using was a little too dark. So at the end, I added, ended up adding a lighter brown on top of it and blending that in. And normally if I would do that, it would start to get flaky and crusty and just not look good. And then the whole eye look would be a mess, but I did, I had no problems adding and taking away and just messing with this constantly. I really do like the way it looks right now. I think it'll look better once I have lashes and everything else on. I absolutely love this primer. So, but the biggest test will be how this eye look looks at the end of the day. So first I'm going to try to recreate this look on this eye and then I'll come back and show you the finished look and then we will do a wear test. So yeah. Okay, so I completely forgot to press record after I finished the look and I don't know what happened. The video is just not there, but I finished my makeup and it has now been how many hours? It is 8.07, if you can see that, p.m. and I put this on at 11 a.m. So it's, it has been on for nine hours and... <laughs> Um, my eyeshadow has never looked this good after nine hours. Let me just zoom you in. So I was like laughing so hard. I was crying earlier. So <laughs> my, the only thing that kind of happened was that my eyelashes are like raising up a little bit, but that's nothing that has nothing to do with the primer. It's just, yeah, I was actually laughing at myself. So, so this is what it looks like now. Oh god, the lashes look terrible. Like, I I was crying. I wasn't crying. I was laughing so hard I was crying. And there were like literal tears 
coming down and it was going everywhere so that might be the only reason like this is a little janky right there but it's really not bad at all i feel like it still looks like i just put it on i don't think i did a very good job of recreating that look that i was going for but i tried and i'm really proud of myself because i do like the look of it and i got a cup i got a couple compliments on it actually in person so I'm happy like I'm really proud of myself this is probably the best smoky eye I've ever done and it was more smoky under here but like I said I cried so that's gone I have to say I am I really I'm watching what I say now because my cousin and my cousin's wife are now going to start playing drinking games where every time I say certain things, they will drink because I repeat things over and over again sometimes. So, I'm just going to say, I really enjoyed this. I really, really, I like this a lot. Okay, I will put the link for it down below. Now, the only thing is if you live in the U.S. or probably Canada as well, or Mexico, anywhere that is not Europe, I would say give it a, quite a while, at least two weeks to come in, because that is about, it took a little over two weeks for this to come in, um, which that's understandable, it's from the UK, but it's just so much easier, like I feel like the colors go on so much more pigmented, I don't know. I can't wait to play with more colors with it. Just make sure you stay tuned to my next few videos um, because anytime I try out a product, I could like it at first and then I try it a few days later and I don't like it as much, but I have a feeling that I'm really going to like this. I have a feeling this is going to be a go-to for me. I wear eyeshadow almost every single day, so I will be trying it out regularly. As of now, I highly recommend this if you are looking, especially if you do, maybe not if you're like a basic eyeshadow type of person, if you just mainly do eye eyeliner and lashes, if you don't really, you know, use eyeshadow that much, but if you are into dramatic makeup or for occasions you like to do special makeup, I highly recommend this. And if you, for a, for an event or something to make your eyeshadow last, highly recommend because I've been through some stuff today and it still looks pretty darn good, I'd say. So yeah, if you've tried this out, let me know. Let me know what you think about it. I'm just saying most likely in my next giveaway, I will probably be giving this away because as always, I always give like my new favorites away and I think this is going to be one of my new favorites because this is incredible. This is so far, this is the best eyeshadow primer I have ever used in my life. Give it a thumbs it's up amazing. if you like it. Don't forget to check out I'm my so latest video. It. And okay, don't so forget, guys, I love you guys so much. Bye.